Well, good morning. It's taken a while to get back to the seat. And uh, we got our fabric in stock, or the vinyl. Really nice uh, cover. I'll put a link in this video to who I got it from. Uh, I think they're in Montana. So this is off of, I want to say my trail fire. Uh, this is in way better shape than the one that was on this sled. So my plan is to, we're going to fix this, whether I use John Deere foam or I'm going to go possibly just cannibalize a, like a Polaris seat or something that's newer. We're gonna clean this up. We're gonna do our best up here. Not quite sure what we're gonna do there. But we'll figure something out. And then we're gonna just have to do little patches here and there. And I'll bring you guys along for the process. The thing I don't get about this, and I looked online, is I don't understand this mounting system for upholstery, but all I can tell is from the factory, all they really did was, I guess, pull and staple on the sides, and then the front and back were like all glued, which is new to me. Um, not that I've done a ton of seats, but that's kind of new to me, but I can see the process would look really neat how it should mold um, once we get this all cleaned up here. We're going to do our best. So, I watched another YouTube video where a guy was using a, a sanding flapper disc wheel very carefully after he got a lot of his foam patched in, so... That's what we're going to be trying today. So. Well, <coughs> this is what I've came up with. Just an idea so far. This is off of a, I don't even know, probably 2000's cat fuel injected model. But I'm thinking about using this for my donor. Figuring out some way to utilize the top and sides and glue them on and shape it all together. I think we can do it. Well, that's the best I could come up with. I tried multiple different things, as you can see. Uh, that's some foam off of an Arctic cat. Um, you know, a guy that had yeah, the right tools probably could have made some of that foam work. Uh, hardly only used, I think, none of that foam. Um, then what we ended up doing is this was the original seat. And it's like they had already wore this down at some time and recovered it when I got it. So what I did is uh, my trail fire, that's, they all need seats or coverings. It had this good hump right here. So what I did is, and I'm just kind of making this up on the fly uh, and what I can get off the internet. I cut that in there, glued it in, uh, had a bad spot there, glued that in, shaped it with the uh, flapper disc be careful we don't need to talk about that but definitely be careful uh, little filler piece underneath there and then I had this stuff for years forget what it came with but I ended up gluing that on because I was falling shy here I think over time this foam you know it shrunk deteriorated and there didn't seem to be it you know it's almost like the seat wasn't long enough anymore so I added this which gave me some more shape to this 
because they seem like the correct original type style seat covers this needs to be pronounced and that's the seat cover that I do have the vinyl so I'll we'll carry it over so I think it's kind of like pretty good That doing a little wheelie, but that'll be fine. I still haven't made the wood for it yet. But I think this I'll be able to fudge in once I get the wooden strips made for underneath. Be able to glue some foam in there, and then once I wrap the batting, I think that will be nice. I think the batting's gonna take away kind of this waviness here. But for the most part it's pretty smooth. So I think it's gonna look good. Okay, kind of a quick video here. I just got this skeeter the other day, 1968. Uh, I think it's a one owner. Pretty neat rig though, but I thought I'd show you guys before we clean her up. I think she'll be a starter or runner too. It doesn't it's got good compression. And the seat turned out pretty good on the John Deere. I'm gonna give it a little bath too. But uh should be cool. Well, I told you we'd go ride the John Deere. I apologize, it's been a couple weeks. But finally had enough time to come see some snow. We haven't been getting a lot in our area. And frankly, it's taken some time, so. But here it is, so. I think it's what first rip in 20 years well 04 so I'd say 18 to 20 years she's dirty with road grime at the moment that seat turned out good went through the gauges um, had to take that one apart really fogged up had two idlers up top place those came up with some bushing ideas for the front shocks uh, we had to put a trail fire instrument cluster There's that's the Mount Hood snowpack. That's how it feels. Man, that's like perfect. So, anyways, we finally got the spring hooked back up for the hood. Um, here it is. So we've done uh, the gear box, chain case. It's been serviced. Everything looked really good in there. New fluid, all new fuel lines. We've got everything going. Uh, carbs have been sonic cleaned. All new lines everywhere. Uh, rebuilt the fuel pump. Uh, all new gaskets and everything on that. Screw on the air box down here. Um having a little bit of a hard time getting a good seal right here uh, no cracks on the hood there are like zero 
I'll uh, shut the hood here in a minute and hand the camera over to my wife and show you the underside of this thing. But there's, there's no, I don't remember there being a dent in the bottom of it. There appears to be something here, rust. Why I don't, or you know, it's taking the paint down. I don't know why. Something, something rubbed there. Um, uh, let's see. Windshield has a slight little boo boo here, but I thought I would just live with it. So far, it seems to be running pretty good. So we're. That's what we're going to go do. We're going to go take some passes and let you guys see it. So, this looking good. I did this swap this off of the other 1980 that I have. Um, it just seemed to be laying flatter. So, it is off of 1980. And the seat's looking real good too. So. Guess uh, we'll go for a few passes.